Hello there. In this lesson we're going to look at a modulus equation. In this equation we're asked to solve for x, in other words find the values of x which satisfy the equation, where the modulus of 3x plus 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 2. Now these modulus signs mean that we ignore the sign of what's inside and we just take its positive value. So what's inside the two modulus signs could be either 2 or minus 2. And in either case, when we just take the positive value, it'll be equal to 2. So one approach to doing this question is to do it in two parts. We can make it equal to minus 2, or we can make it equal to 2. And we can solve both of them. So that's what we will do. First of all, I'll make it equal to 2. Now, I need to multiply both sides by this denominator down here, x plus 1. And I get, by doing that, these two factors cancel out. And now multiplying both sides, and we are just left with 3x plus 1 on the left, and 2x plus 2 on the right. If we bring the x's to one side and the numbers to the other, we get 3x minus 2x is equal to 2 minus 1, so that is that x is equal to 1. This is one solution to the modulus equation that we were given at the start. Now we take the bit inside the modulus signs, 3x plus 1 over x plus 1, and we make it equal to minus 2. So we have 3x plus 1 over x plus 1 and we make it equal to minus 2 and we'll solve for x. Again multiply both sides by x plus 1 and these two factors cancel and if we multiply it out We get minus 2x minus 2, because if we're multiplying minus 2 by plus 1 gives us minus 2. Bring the x's to one side, and I get 3x plus 2x is equal to minus 2 minus 1. So we get 5x is equal to minus 3, so x is equal to minus 3 over 5. This is the other solution to my modulus equation. So now it's always a good idea to write out your answer explicitly at the end of your question and say our solution is x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 3 over 5. These are the two values of x that if we substituted them into the original modulus equation it will satisfy it. Now there is one other way to do this question. The other way is to square both sides. Because this left hand side could be minus 2 or 2 inside the modulus signs, when we square it we will get 4. When we square the right hand side we'll also get 4. However if we leave it as 3x plus 1 over x plus 1, when we square it out we will get and we don't need the modulus signs anymore. So for this reason, just by squaring both sides, we have only one equation to solve. However, it will end up with a quadratic equation, so we will get two solutions, and the two solutions should be the same as the two solutions we got earlier, when we got 1 and minus 3 fifths. So let's continue on and see do we get that. Let's multiply both sides by this denominator, so we get 3x plus 1 squared over x plus 1 squared and we multiply it by x plus 1 squared and that's equal to 4 times x plus 1 squared. By multiplying both sides of an equation by the denominator we always get rid of the denominator because it cancels out. 
So now we can multiply out both sides. Now I'm using the fact that when we square a plus b, we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. You should consign this to your memory. It's very, very useful. It happens so often. So when we square 3x plus 1, we square 3x and we get 9x squared. And then we have 2ab, which is twice 3x times 1. So we could write that as twice 3x times 1. And then we square the last term, which is 1 squared. Doing the same thing to the right-hand side, we leave the 4 outside the bracket first, and we'll square what's inside. So we get x squared plus 2 times x times 1, which is just x plus 1. Now, tidying up the left-hand side, we get 2x, 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 is equal to 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. And as you see, we have a quadratic here. I just need to bring everything to one side and solve. So I get 9x squared minus 4x squared plus 6x minus 8x plus 1 minus 4 equal to 0. That's 5x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. And now I will try to factorize. The factors of 5x squared must be 5x and x. And the factors of minus 3, well, it could be 3 and minus 1, or minus 3 and 1. So I want to try, well, certainly 1 is minus and 1 is plus. I will try 3 here and 1 here, and I'll test it. That gives me minus 3x, and this gives me plus 5x, which if I add them together gives me 2x. So that's wrong. So I need to try another one. So we get 5x and x. This time I'll try plus 3 and minus 1, and I will test it. The inside gives me 3x. The outside gives me minus 5x, and when I add those together, I get minus 2x, which is correct. So these are my factors. I now make each factor equal to 0. So I get 5x plus 3 equal to 0, and I get x minus 1 equal to 0. If 5x plus 3 is equal to 0, then 5x is equal to minus 3, so x is equal to minus 3 over 5. And we found the solution which we got earlier on. If x minus 1 is 0, then x is equal to 1. And we have found the other solution. So again, our solution is x is equal to minus 3 over 5, and x is equal to 1. As you can see, both methods give us the same result. You may choose to use whichever one you want. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.